Okay, so we're at lesson 21, module one, algebra one. We are back and it's exciting and it's, it's everything that, uh, that you'd hoped it would be. Um, we come to lesson 21 off the heels of lesson 19, rearranging formulas, lesson 20, um, solutions to equations. And you'll notice that the top of this says solution sets to inequalities with two variables. So in the last lesson, it was started very similarly, except it had this. It had this. And so in the last lesson, lesson 20, instead of 4x minus y less than or equal to 10, it had 4x minus y is equal to 10. And so one of the things we were asked to do in lesson 20 was to find an ordered pair. Find an x, y that when you plugged in for X and we plugged in for Y, some value produced, caused it to be 10 is equal to 10. That was a solution set. In this particular lesson, we're gonna have a wider range of solutions because now all we want is for the ordered pair when plugged in to be less than or equal to 10. And so here in the first exercise, it says, as circle each ordered pair, x and y, that's a solution to the equation 4x minus y less than or equal to 10. And so here's where you break your calculator out and you just do a quick, uh, quick little substitute in. Let's check 3 and 2. If we plug 3 in times 2 or minus 2, is that less than or equal to 10? And so we just check. And the answer is yes. So circle. And now we're going to plug in 2 and 3. 2 and 3. Plug the next one in. See if this works. So that's 8 minus 3. 8 minus 3 is 5. Is that less than or equal to 10? Yes. And you can see we're going to do all of these. And so negative 1 and negative 14 we're going to plug in. Plug it in, we get negative 4. Minus a minus turns to plus 14. And this becomes, I believe, if my arithmetic is correct, 10. Is that less than or equal to 10? Yes. So, having said that, we would do that in all of these. And we eventually noticed that using this same process, we would realize that that's a solution, that's a solution, and even down here, solution, solution, and solution. These two are not, they are not solutions. These two are not solutions. Let's take a look at why six, zero, and four, negative one are not solutions. So now let's plug in, plug in six, zero, six, zero. Four times six is 24, minus zero is 24 less than or equal to 10. And the answer, obviously, no. That's why this is not a solution. The same thing, the same thing for the second one that's not a solution. Plug in four and negative one. This becomes 16 minus a minus turns to plus one, 17 is 17 Is 17 less than or equal to 10? No. So in this particular first exercise, you could see that we have much more room to satisfy the inequality versus less than 20 to satisfy the equation. Okay? All right. Okay. And B, it says plot each solution as a point x, y, and the coordinate plane. So I'm going to do that real quick and then just to give a feel for what you're doing, a reminder of how to plot. 
So if we blow this up a little bit, just so you see how we're doing this, boom. Let's plot some of these solutions. And some of the solutions are three, two, two, three. Okay, so we've had a chance to plot some of these points that were from um, um, the first part of this. And you notice that I've got I've done some additional work. I've also taken the equation 4x minus y less than or equal to 10 right here. I've taken this. And I've thought of it as an equation. I wanted to kind of get a sketch for what this line looks like if it was just a line. And so I, I then looked at it 4x minus y is equal to 10. I solved for y. So I saw for y here and here, and I went ahead and graphed this line. y is equal to 4x minus 10. Now, the reason why I did that is because in less than 20, the solution, all the points were on that line. But you'll notice that in this lesson, it could be uh, points other than uh, any of those that, that are actually on the line. Let's talk about why that is. So you'll notice in green, I have an arrow coming down to this right here. Let's solve this particular problem. 4x minus y is less than or equal to. Now, we've done this before earlier in a couple lessons. We subtract 4x on both sides, similar to an equation. We divide by a negative 1, and when we do that, that changes the sign to greater than or equal to 4x minus 10. Now you'll see the similarities between, for instance, I'm going to circle in yellow, between this right here and this right here. Take a look at the similarities. There's the red line that represents just the line. But in this lesson, we're also wanting values that satisfy the inequality, y is greater than or equal to 4x minus 10, which happens to be the same. It's the same, except this is what's called standard form, and below y is greater than or equal to 4x minus 10 is what's called basically slope-intercept form. Now, the question I ask you, and I don't want the people here to answer it, but I want you to think about it. Where is the solution set to this inequality? Is it in this region or in this region? Above the line, below the line. Keep in mind, we have this. Think about that for a second. Pause the video. So this lesson is about describing the solution set, graphing the line, looking at your inequality and saying, where are my, where are my solutions? Because of this, my solutions lie above the line. Any ordered pair, any ordered pair above that line and even on the line is a solution. So in this part of your, of your, um, Eureka Math uh, section, Lesson 21. What I just did was graph that. Then I noticed that my solution set um, was going to be in this area. I actually did this part previously, but that's all right. So actually, this is what we just did was what this one you did. Okay, so we jumped to this section. We jumped to this section right here, and we're almost done. So it says the solution to this is shown on the graph. So here's the graph right here with an equation. However, what if we have an inequality? What if we have a less than or equal to? Well, it turns out that just like we just saw, let's graph this like it were a line. So for instance, we know that based on this graph right here, there's a point there and a point there. So point here and here. So our line looks like this. Hmm. 
Now we have to interpret where are our solutions in this inequality. The only way to figure that out is to say, well, let's solve this for y. Subtract, subtract, less than or equal to negative x plus 20. Look at that right there. Is this going to be above or below? Well, it's going to be shaded here. The reason is because y is less than. So we say below. Skip over to C. We'll come back to B in a second. C. Notice it's the same except now. Now it's x plus y less than 20. It doesn't equal. And because it's not equal to, we're going to have a dotted line. So cross here, so cross here, and it's going to be a dotted line. Because it's still less than, less than, let's make sure this is right. Solve. Less than, shade here. The dotted line represents that it's not equal to. Try B and D right now on your own. Try B and D on your own now. Pause the video. Okay, you had a chance to do B and D, and here's what your solution should have been. Notice how I took each one of these and I rearranged, and I solved for Y, so that I could get a better idea of where the solutions were going to be. In the first one, in B, notice that the line is solid because it's Y is greater than or equal to. Also, notice that I've shaded the green in above the line because of that. And in D, notice the line is dotted in because it's not equal to, it's just greater than. And notice that the green is above the line as well. And so in this lesson, that's, that's virtually all we're doing is we're basically graphing lines, but then considering them as inequalities and deciding, do I shade above or below? Is the line dotted or is it solid? And that's where we're going to end right now for this first part of the video. Okay. And again, this is the first part of Lesson 21, solving uh, so for solution sets of inequalities. This has been exciting. It really has. Bye-bye.